there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful but windy upstate New York. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this video in, that it will actually sound okay, that the wind won't bother us too much. Uh, so we'll see. Um, on this episode of 3B TV, I wanted to share with you my design for our egg box that we use on the side of the road. So yesterday or the day before I posted some pictures of the signs uh, here on the side that I had redone and a few people commented on those pictures asking for um, me to talk about my plans and how I put this together. So I thought I'd do a quick video to tell you about that and uh, this way you will be able to build your own rustic egg box uh, for the side of the road to sell your eggs. This is not going to be a standard how-to with all the measurements and so on and so forth because I really put this together uh, on the fly using materials I had laying around the homestead and um, so you're going to need to do this based on uh, what you have available but I'll give you some ideas I will also kind of point you in the direction of what I used as the basis of my, my idea, which are rustic coolers. Um, people have been building these in the last couple of years for their decks to keep their drinks in uh, during the summertime. And so I kind of combined that idea with uh, the idea of this sign that flips up and down um, to kind of come up with this egg box. So let me just kind of show you what I've done here. Inside is uh, this cooler here. Um, this is a cooler that I had laying around here on the homestead. Um, actually the uh, uh, hinges here in the back had broken. And uh, so it really, not to say that it wasn't useful, but it, it wasn't as useful as it had been. Um, this cooler, I think inside measures 16 and three quarters um, this way. But what's great about it, let me just show you. I'm going to take, I've got a, a dozen eggs here. Um, I'll put it inside. And then I have these ice packs here. And they fit. Let me grab the other one here. So you can see they fit very nicely inside and then I can get six dozen eggs uh, here on the inside of this with no problem whatsoever. And uh, so that really works out very well. Um, this closes down nicely uh, and tightly. So what I did is uh, my chain here, a cough. so you can see this closes down real nice and tight opens up very nicely and uh, what I did is I took this um, top here and I've just screwed it onto um, the uh, the top of and uh, let's see where are my yeah, right here you can see I screwed it in there with some screws I thought I had a screw on the side but maybe not so uh, it's just screwed in there into, uh, into the top so it's secured here and it's lined up so that when it closes up it goes right into the cooler and everything is nice and tight on the front here i built a um, money box and a little lock here i've had no problems no problem whatsoever i've used this for two seasons i don't believe i've lost a dozen eggs yet um, have had nobody mess with the money box maybe i've just been fortunate and lucky i'm uh, not bragging this will probably be the year that I have issues um, because the last time I said oh, I've never had problems with that was a couple of years ago when I said I've never had problems with predators getting my chickens and then I lost a bunch but um, so the uh, egg sign here on the side just flips up and uh, is held in place by uh, this hook and eye so it just goes like that and uh, then if we for some reason run out of eggs it just flops down sorry no eggs and people can see that right from their vehicle as they're driving by um, and I have one on either side um, one of the other things that my customers requested was they requested a way to return cartons so um, in the bottom here I have this uh, carton return and uh, so that works out very nicely 
and uh, so I mean it's it's really a simple idea it's just taking that rustic cooler concept I'll link below to um, a blog post or two with regards to how to build one of these but really at the end of the day what you're going to do is find a cooler um, like I said this one here I think is 16 and 3 quarters on the inside so it works well for me but if you have a bigger one a smaller one whatever works um, I don't know if you'd want to go too much smaller because then you'd have a hard time getting um, ice in there and uh, I really think you're probably going to want to put ice in the eggs um, just to give your customer some level of comfort. I try to swap my ice box or um, my ice packs out once a day um, in the summer when it's real hot. Sometimes I'll do it twice a day. Uh, but yeah, this has worked out really, really well for me. And um, it's uh, needing a, a bit of a touch up in in the paint department. And I'll do that later on this um, this spring when I go to uh, touch up my coops and whatnot. But uh, we're going to try to get this out by the side of the road today so that um, we can start getting some eggs sold. Um, so hopefully you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll be, be glad to try to answer them. Um, one other thing that I did want to share with you. So the reason why I redid these signs um, is because I originally did them out of Luan. Uh, quarter inch plywood and that really isn't great outdoors and so eventually they started to delaminate and come apart this is um, actually a plastic corrugated I don't know if you can see that very well this is plastic corrugated stuff that I got at Lowe's I think it was like seven bucks a sheet or something like that and uh, so we'll see if that holds up any better um, than the uh, Luan did. I, I got two seasons out of the Luan. Well, actually about a season and three quarters before the one actually split right in half. Um, but the overall, like I said, I've been very happy with this design and it's worked very well for us uh, over the last two seasons. So, so this will be season number three with this egg box and um, maybe it's just our area, but uh, we've had very good luck with it and uh, so overall very happy with the honor system here one other thing I had a lot of people after I posted that picture um, comment on my price on um, the three dollars a dozen and uh, I had some people who said they wish they could get that much out of their eggs and I had other people's one uh, other people wondering why I was selling them so cheap um, in our area that's what the going rate is for eggs from a homestead like ours number of people around selling eggs and that is the going rate um, at a farmers market you can expect to pay four dollars and fifty cents or five dollars a dozen um, but at the side of the road from a homestead stand like ours in our area the going rate is three dollars i wish it was more um, but it's not and uh, so um, i'm not going to sell them for less than three dollars a dozen because really at that price I'm really not making any money it's more of a break-even proposition for me um, and if I was going to uh, not be able to sell them for three dollars a dozen I would just feed them to my pigs as pig feed because it's good for pigs um, but uh, yeah so that's what we're doing right now uh, hopefully you found this helpful if you've got any questions or comments please uh, put them below if you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. Uh, until next time, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you later.